How many times have you heard the words in the unlikely event of a water landing in your briefing just before takeoff? But have you ever thought about what you'd really do, what you'd really do if your plane suddenly ditched into the water? Well, early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman is in Valencia, California this morning at a training facility for aviation and safety survival. And she's going to tell us more about that. Good morning, Hattie. Good morning, Dave. I'm at HRD Aerosystems, where they train people in how to get out of a plane in a hurry. With me is Brian Omahan, who morning, is one Hattie. of the trainers. What should people do first? What do you keep in mind first? The very first thing, Hattie, is to remain calm. Remain Don't calm. panic. Don't panic. Pay attention to what, what the flight attendants are saying. So many times people ignore what they say when they demonstrate how to put one of these things on. Take it on. for granted, yes. So let's run through it. Please, over your head. Okay. Grab that strap, wrap it around your waist. Okay. Clasp it in the white, in the white buckling there. All right. Pull the yellow cinch, tighten it up. Don't grab your personal belongings. Leave your personal belongings. Do not inflate the life raft. If you have have, have high heel shoes, the Jimmy shoes say, anything sharp in your pockets out. So if off. you have glasses, put them in your socks. Okay, and then head for the exit. Head Don't for the block exit. It. In Listen this to instructions. Case, we're going to be going out the yes, window onto the wing. So tell me what do I do? How do I do it? Leg, Hand body, first. leg. Just put one leg out. Leg. Leg first. Fall body. with your upper torso, and away you go. Oh, I went bottom torso. Oh, that's okay. okay. All right, so now we're out on the wing. I know this is a simulator. Here, we're out. Next what, step, we're on what a do sim. You do? Next step, inflate that life vest. How do I do that? Just go ahead with the jerk right here, follow instructions, give it a good pull, firm pull. Whoa. That's okay. it. All right. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay, and then Next the flight you know, attendant is going to take care of this thing. Or a person, able bodied passenger that will give it. We're going to inflate the raft. Now, this is a raft for this size, which is kind of a corporate jet. In a real uh, 747, 737, it'd be much bigger. It'd probably much be the larger. slide. Same principle or the slide or a 56 man raft. And we're just going to toss it in. And that will inflate it? Yep. Okay, so, whoa. I see it turn upside down, which can happen in the water. Yep. That can happen. Okay. Now, in a plane crash on land, you're told to go down the slide, get out, and run away from the fuselage because Absolutely. there could be flames, smoke, toxic. So we're going to jump shoes. in it. Same thing here. You want to get away from the fuselage. We're going to get it and get to get up in. You're just going to go ahead and jump okay, in. I got you here. Off. Make sure those shoes are off. Okay. Alrighty. There you go. Just straight across. Oh. Okay. All the way across. And away you go and wait for the other passengers. Now, if you didn't, uh, you made it into the water like some of those people in the Hudson, you can climb over the edge of one of these things? You bet, you can climb up on it. Most of them have a boarding ladder on one side and a boarding ramp on the other, like you'll see. Okay. That you'll have as well. And, but there are no oars or anything, so you just there are, it along. Okay. There are oars in it and safety survival equipment, Hattie. Okay. Everything you'll need in here. All right, Dave, back to you.